as we put the wraps on September and look forward to October, we can look forward to a decrease in activity. Right now, though, there are still five different areas we're watching, so we still have a lot to keep close tabs on, and it's still a time of year where we can see more tropical development. Take a look at our list of names right now. Isaac and Joyce are still out there. I think we're going to see Kirk later today, and I'll show you the system we're watching for that. Two other areas that we're watching with a moderate chance of development could become Leslie and Milton over the coming week. So as I mentioned, there's a lot going on. Right now, the leftovers from Helene kind of winding down just some scattered showers over the eastern U.S. and upper level trough caught that. So let's turn our attention to our next systems. We've got a broad area of low pressure kind of working across the Caribbean. There is a chance for development in the western Caribbean, and that could eventually find its way into the Gulf of Mexico. That's one of the areas that I do have more concern with. Out in the central Atlantic, this is tropical depression number 12, like to become Kirk later today. We have Joyce right now spinning in the central Atlantic. It's now down to a depression. It was Joyce. It may re-intensify. We'll see. At any rate, it's moving off to the north. No threat to land. And then in the north Atlantic, again, like Joyce, not really threatening land, we have Isaac, and that will move away. So you see how Isaac's set to move over the cooler water. Again, Joyce maybe staying as a depression now. It's already reached kind of its maximum intensity. It's just kind of hanging on as a depression. And then we have TD number 12, which will likely become Kirk. But you can see that is expected to intensify a hurricane and then eventually turn off to the north. So I'm not worried about any of the organized systems right now. That next wave off the coast of Africa, we have so much time to watch this, thousands of miles away. And again, a 60% chance of development. It's this one here in the Caribbean that could develop in the Western Caribbean or slide up into the Gulf. This is the one that we'll be watching, which does pose some potential threat to the Gulf Coast. If it were to develop and then come into the Gulf, we will certainly keep you updated.